Hello and welcome to this online masterclass. My name is Dominic Wagner and now I'm going to talk about the second sonata in D major for viola da gamba. So in Bach, I think it's very important, not generally in Baroque music, to be aware of the rules that exist, to follow them strictly, but then inside of those rules find the freedom to make beautiful music, to see what, what is possible to do and to do it almost different every time. So the main rule is, in a, in a three-fourth bar, the one is the heavy beat, second a little less, third the least. So we want to start with, obviously with Dumbo and really use the C to make a nice entrance. And then go towards the next one. Often I see people do... Go towards the C up here. Then it would feel like a 4 fourth bar. So that's something we should try to avoid. So let, let's make sure to try to go towards... to make clear that that's the one. That you can develop the long note. And go towards the next one. Now like the same thing like in the first entrance, we enjoy the first note. And we go towards the next one. Now we got something interesting happening harmonically. So either I would show that by doing... By going heavy on this note or doing it especially um, soft as like some kind of a surprise because it is a surprise that suddenly you have the C sharp here. So I think those are two perfectly valid versions to do, to do or to do whatever you prefer you can do. So it's important to then again go for the one. And now, this is one of the exceptions I would make here. I would not play the one too much so we can build up and lead towards the next harmony. Uh, so. Because. This is the next goal. So in this case I would kind of like put together two bars. So the, these two just to build up for starting from here. suddenly in minor, so make sure to show it's a different character, not anymore this nice and open, but very serious. Again, develop. On this A, we again have got an interesting harmony change, not in the bass part, but, or the gamba part, but actually in the piano or the harpsichord, depending on what you're playing with. So make sure to either again show this harmony by going towards it or by suddenly playing piano. So, so to make sure, to make clear to everybody, listen, hear, something interesting is happening. Because in Bach, well in all music, but in Bach especially, the most important thing is always the harmony. So, go again from... Make 
make sure here this this is the tension harmonically and then no tension anymore so we obviously put the focus on where the tension is harmonically speaking overall i think it's so important to make the difference between this really open sound like in the beginning this Try to go as close as you can to the sound of a viola da gamba. It's never, never pressed. It's always just as open and as, with as many overtones as you can imagine. And then we go on. So some of you might be using an addition where this whole part is down here. Which is the original viola da gamba part, just one octave lower. Like in the beginning, I also play sounding one octave lower than the original viola da gamba part. Here, I choose to go up. Normally, if you follow the rules, the gamba should never be lower than the left hand of the piano or the harpsichord. The problem is sometimes we just, for technical reasons or sound reasons, we cannot make that happen, make that work. That's why we start down here because it just sounds so beautiful. But here for this part, I think this character compared to I think up here it sounds so beautiful, so gentle, and again comes very close to the sound of the viola da gamba, which again is always what we should strive for. And as always, just strive to go towards the one. So. Always the one. So. And done. I would choose to make a bigger build up and not show the one in this bar. So we show the one here, and then we make one build up to the next one. And all those bow changes as smooth as possible. Make sure not to do any like crazy big vibratos. You can also start the note like I did with non vibrato and then just give it a little bit. No, no romantic, but just just to make it sound a little more open. Because contrary to what many people say, many people say Baroque music has to be no vibrato. You can't do vibrato on the gamba. That's not really true. You can do a little bit of vibrato on the gamba, especially on long notes. People do it quite often, but they don't do because that's not possible with the gut strings and on, on the gamba, but a little just to make it sound more open. It's very beautiful and that's a nice color. And then tension, relaxation. So tension on the C and relaxation on the B. 